Hey guys, my name is Batimio, and today I have another episode of The Naked Gun. This is a series where I choose a weapon, I use absolutely no attachments, hence the Naked Gun title, and then I let you guys know why I liked or why I disliked the gun with its bare bone uh, essentials. And for today, I'm going to be trying out the PDWR. I wanted to use this weapon because you'll notice in the video here, I get a lot of attachments because I really never used it before. It was one of those guns that I unlocked, I was just like, well this kinda doesn't seem like it's gonna be all that great. And when the game was first released, I really didn't even use the personal defense weapons in general. So I just didn't get any kills with it. And I was like, well, this Naked Gun series is pretty much, I'm not using any attachments to begin with, so let's try it out. And I had a lot of fun with it, to be honest. But I will go into details as to why I don't really see why you would want to use this over something like the P90 or the MP7 or something along those lines. Uh, so first off, it is one of the hardest hitting personal defense weapons. It does 25 damage up close and at long range it goes all the way down to 14.3 and it also has a fairly decent RPM at 750 which is not too shabby. I would not say that it is a slow RPM but it's by far nowhere near the 900 RPM of the P90 or the 950 of the MP7. Uh, so like I said, it, you know, it's it's decent. Uh, the one thing I'm not really too thrilled about though would be its reload time. It has a reload time if you have a bolt in the chamber of 2.5 seconds or if you've gone through your entire magazine it's going to take you 3.4. And 3.4 seconds on a personal defense weapon, at least in my opinion, is a little excessive. Uh, not only that, but if you are not using the extended mags uh, attachment, you only have 21 rounds in your magazine. So going through your entire uh, magazine is, uh, it happens a lot, at least with a naked gun. And uh, more often than not, I would go through my entire rounds, I would have, you know, I'd have to reload, and then like three people would round the corner and I would just die. So the combination between having a long reload time and a small magazine size re resulted in a lot of deaths to start off with. Uh, but once I started getting the hang of it, the way I worked around it was if I got a kill, I would be all happy and giddy, but then I would run away, reload quickly, try to get, you know, get into a corner where I wasn't going to die, and then move on out from there. I tried to work the maps a little bit more methodically than if I was using something like the P90 where I can just kind of spray and pray all over the place. I had a lot of rounds and I really didn't need to worry about running into multiple targets, but with only, one, with only 21 rounds, I'm not going to have a lot of killing power. Power here. I mean, I can take out one to two targets, but other than that, I'm going to have to switch to my pistol. And you're going to see here in a couple of clips, I really do need to rely on my pistol. So if, if you're not comfortable using your sidearm, then this is probably not going to be the setup uh, that you're going to be most comfortable with. Uh, like I said, I ran into a lot of situations where using both of my weapons was essential, and that was really the only way I was going to be able to come out alive on that. Uh, and a lot of times, I didn't come out alive because, of course, the pistol is nowhere near as powerful as the F2000. Uh, one thing I really did like about the PDWR is that it is a bullpup, so if you are aiming down sight, you are going to be cruising around those corners at Mach 5, which is awesome for a close quarter weapon. I mean, you're going to get into a lot of situations where high mobility is going to save you. You get a couple of shots in the enemy, you take them out, you quickly get behind cover and, you know, regenerate and then move on to your next target. And having a bullpup, in my opinion, is just fantastic for close quarter combat. So I really like that about the PDWR. Uh, if I was going to approve upon this naked setup, I would definitely recommend using the extended mags. It's going to bump you up to 31 rounds, which puts you more in line with pretty much all of the other weapons in the game. And that's pretty much essential for a close quarter weapon. 20 rounds is not a lot. And, uh, you know, having a, a decently fair RPM weapon, you're going to go through that quickly. So having more rounds in your magazine is going to be perfect. Uh, as you guys can see here, I was still able to manage, but that was because I was trying to th take things a little bit more uh, cautiously. I was trying to move around the map a little bit more methodically. And if you have 10 more rounds in your magazine, it's just going to make it a lot easier to, uh, to engage multiple targets. And you're just going to have a lot more fun uh, in general with the PWR. Uh, I would also recommend using the red dot sights, but to be honest, I really didn't have much of a problem using the iron sights. They're not too shabby. I wouldn't say that they're the best in the game, 
but for medium range and close engagements, I really didn't have much of a problem tracking my target and getting those kills. So uh, overall, the iron sights are a lot of fun. So if you are looking for something a little bit different, uh, these iron sights are not too shabby. Uh, but overall, I would say that this is a pretty fun setup. I still don't think it competes with the P90 or the MP7, but if you're looking for something a little different, you want to try something new, uh, make sure you use an extended mags and an appropriate sight. Uh, but this gun is a lot of fun. You're going to have a lot of enjoyment out of it, and I would highly recommend it. Uh, but that's it for today's Naked Gun. I hope you enjoyed. But before I go, let me know what you think of the PDWR. Is it your favorite personal defense weapon? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed the video, I always appreciate it when you give my videos a rating. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, have a good one and take it easy.